China and Russia. The two countries say their friendship has no limits. But is that still the case? What's driving it and what's the cost? To understand the China-Russia friendship better, we've come to the city of Haihe. It is right up in the very north of China, on the border with Russia, over this frozen river. That's Russia itself. And there are signs everywhere in this place of just how vital the relationship is to both sides. There is a huge bridge up ahead that takes trade to and from the two countries. There is a lot of crossover of culture. There is a lot in this town that explains why the countries are such good friends. If you look back over history, China and Russia haven't always been allies. There was periods of conflict along this border. And although China looked to Russia for inspiration to set up its communist system, there were long periods of deep distrust. But the two countries are getting closer at the moment, and there's a number of reasons for that. Firstly, they do a lot of trade with each other, important trade in commodities. Secondly, it's very important for both sides to keep this northern border peaceful. It means both of them can redirect resources elsewhere. But most importantly at the moment, it's that they're like-minded allies in what both of them see as an increasing power struggle with the West. President Xi and President Putin have a lot in common. They both believe that autocracy is the best way to run a country. They both have bitter and deep dislike for what they see as American-led interference in the world. And they both want to see a new world order with their ideas and their systems at the fore. Opinions of ordinary people vary. It's important to know that here in China, people are not told the truth about what's happening in the war in Ukraine. News content on the war is very sanitized and very straight. It means that a lot of people here, particularly in towns like this, really support the Russians. They see them as a good friend and a good ally. What do you think of the conflict in Ukraine? But there are some people in China who hold skepticism too, largely because of that very distrustful and often very difficult historic relationship with Russia. Distrust here also exists. In terms of the war in Ukraine, China is positioning itself as a peacemaker. It says it's one of the few countries in the world that hasn't sold arms to either side and that has good relations with both and that could posture for peace. It is the reason that she is meeting both Putin and speaking to President Zelensky in the same week. People in the West say those claims, though, ring hollow. The Americans have accused China of preparing to sell arms, a claim the Chinese absolutely reject. But the Chinese do have an interest in ensuring that this war does not result in a very united and very victorious West. And the reason for that is that if and when it wanted to make its own move, perhaps invading the self-governing island of Taiwan, it wants forces like America and NATO to be delegitimized. It means that the world is grappling with two powers that because of their relationship with each other have the confidence to continue to be assertive and in Russia's case, quite aggressive on the foreign stage. For now, this relationship is likely to last because both sides are gaining more from it than what they would gain if it fell apart. How China in particular chooses to use this relationship is yet to be seen. But for the moment, the trade, the diplomacy and the peaceful border is very important to both sides.